Australian researchers say they've made a huge breakthrough in the treatment of those with Parkinson's disease. The therapy, which isn't available for humans yet, increases energy supply to brain cells, allowing them to function for longer. To talk more about this is Neuroscience Research Australia Professor Carolyn Sue. Professor, thanks so much for your time this afternoon. This sounds very exciting. Can you tell us about this promising new gene therapy for the disease? Well, thanks very much. Yes, we're super excited about this. Um, we uh, this, this approach will actually help um, provide energy, a renewable source of energy to the brain cells of patients with um, Parkinson's disease. Uh, it works by um, providing a protein which will help uh, the uh, batteries of the cell, the mitochondria, to recharge themselves um, and provide that vital energy that the cell needs to be able to work properly. So what treatments are currently available for Parkinson's? Well, at the moment, most treatments treat the symptoms only. So we have um, treatments that are really good at uh, providing uh, the dopamine that is lost from the neurons that are affected in Parkinson's disease and ways to actually uh, provide that in higher levels to the cells. But um, unfortunately, we don't have anything that stops the disease process. So this um, treatment looks at trying to do that, trying to slow down the progression of the disorder by allowing the brain cells to um, have the energy that they need to live longer. Just how significant is this? Do you think that we will see a cure in our lifetimes? Well, we hope so. Uh, we hope that this will stop the disease process because um, it's difficult to find cures for uh, diseases that all have already started, but this will actually allow the body to combat uh, the degenerative process of the disease that uh, that is happening during uh, patients who have Parkinson's disease um, in their course. Parkinson's affects more than 10 million people worldwide, 200,000 here in Australia. I know we have to go through some human trials, but how soon could we see this treatment be made available? Well, it's hard to say, as you know, uh, but we're really hoping that this uh, funding from Shake It Up Australia, Michael J. Fox, will accelerate our research uh, so that we can bring this to the clinic in years uh, of, of starting the, uh, of the research. So, um, you know, hopefully that will uh, provide people with hope uh, that we'll be able to really address this and stop this disease in its tracks. Could this therapy potentially help other neurodegenerative dis disorders, uh, considering this is the first time we'll be able to protect brain cells from dying? Yeah, look, it's, it's one hope that we have. Um, clearly, to stop a degenerative process by providing energy to different forms of cells would also be, uh, would be a great breakthrough. Um, but at this stage, we're trying to focus on Parkinson's disease because this is how we discovered um, the, the, the way that the protein works. So... Um, hopefully, um, the observations that we've had in humans uh, uh, to, to take this approach will, will be a big boost to Parkinson's disease research. And then, if, and then once uh, we show that, then it, it is a possibility that we'll be able to provide it to other diseases. Well, Professor Carolyn Sue, it sounds very promising. Thanks for joining us on the program and good luck. I hope everything goes well. Thanks very much. I really appreciate your, uh, your help and interest.